Hello, it's your boy Matty F. Baby, and we're back here to talk about some more Pokemon Go PvP action. So today, Power Up Punch dropped in Pokemon Go. It's a new move, and it will raise your attack stat 100% of the times that you use it. And I was curious, is this a bug? Is there a glitch in the Matrix? Is RNG Jesus shining down upon me and my friends? Everyone I know has got 100% chance to buff every time they've used it so I did a little teensy bit of digging and apparently in the main series game a power up punch every time you use it erases your attack um, p power by one level so it gets raised one time so yeah looks like it's here to stay and it's really fun it's only a 35 energy um, cost charge move that's really low considering that it is also gonna have 50 uh, base power, which is the same as like the Ice Punch and all them that the Metacham is gonna have, but just trying to show you like a similar kind of move, so it's uh, gonna be the same as that thing, but then, um, <laughs> but then it's also less energy, so I think it's 50 base, but then I think it goes down to 40 for PvP. Anyways, I just wanna say it's a really strong move, 100%, 100 uh, 100% chance to raise your attack, and please stick around for this Metacham action. This actually is going to be all Boulder Cup matches. I've been wanting to do this for a while because Bastia Dawn wasn't here when the Boulder Cup was here. So now I finally get an excuse to do a Boulder Cup video again. So I lied. This is a Boulder Cup video. <laughs> I lied at the beginning. I think that was this intro. It might have been two intros ago that I'm not going to use. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, Boulder Cup action. But you gotta see Metacham. He does some serious work on these matches. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna have Skarmory going up against our Metacham. Thank you, Andy, for these first matches, and Dozer for the next bit of matches. And then, so after, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, one of them power punches off on Andy, and we actually take ours out. And I don't know if it's gonna keep the attack buff if you take it out. So that was a fail by me, because we did get one buff off, then took ourselves out. So he went ahead and shielded that. We um, both switch at the same time, um, and turns out that you know I lose that switch. He's gonna go ahead and down us with uh, his primate, and yeah. So I have the Skarm right now, which is gonna be great against these fighting Pokemon in the Boulder Cup. And he's gonna bring in a Poliwrath after we down the primate with our Skarmory. We're gonna go ahead and get a, a an air move off, a flying move off on him. You know, sky attack, and that's gonna do major damage on the fighting type Polyrath. Andy was out of shields at that moment, so now we're back to where we started. It is going to be Metacham versus Skarmory. He's gonna go ahead and finish us off with the sky attack, and we bring in the Skarmory to go ahead and finish up this uh, match. We're just barely ahead in the HP and we're gonna just get uh, to our next charge move and get him down before he has a chance to. But that one wasn't the greatest example of how just on a roll Metacham can get. Um, yeah, he can get on a real roll. So now we have Melmetal versus the Primeape. So this is not a great spot for me. So we're gonna switch into the Skarmory and get off some of our air slashes. We're gonna go ahead and tank the Night Slash um, that it sh uh, throws our way, which we were expecting. And then next it's gonna be uh, the old Skarmory versus the Pita Swine. We get off a Flash Cannon hoping he does not block it as it's gonna be uh, pretty devastating to the Pita Swine. He's gonna go ahead and finish this off with the Avalanche. We elect not to shield. Now we're bringing in our guy Metacham. We're gonna go ahead and shield up with him because we're trying to get him on a roll and get him to be throwing puppers, power up punch. P-U-P, throw some puppers at them, some power up punches. See, that's great, right? That's the best acronym ever. Call it throwing puppers. Or if you like have a group of Pokemon that all know uh, power up punch and you want to like call them something like, oh yeah, that, the puppers, because they're power up punchers. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get a bunch of power up punches off and we're gonna keep just seeing my attacks that raise. And we're gonna go ahead and once he brings in the Skarmory, we decided to do 
the ice move as it'll do more damage, which we shouldn't have done. We should have, if we're gonna do the, the power up punch after the ice move, then we should have done the power up punch first. That way when we do the ice move, the ice punch, it'll do more damage. So if you are gonna, you know, switch and not use the power up punch for a move and then go back to using it, you should just use it initially and then move to the other move. Don't do like I just did, that was silly. So anyways, Hitmonchan versus Meta Cham. Chan versus Cham. And we're just going bananas. It's gonna be a shield from me, I believe. I shielded that first one up, and I did. So he's gonna shield his first one up as well. We get the attack rose. Boom, we're just gonna shield up again, because like I said, we're just trying to have some fun with Meta Cham, trying to see how, uh, how handy he can go, how bananas the, the chimp can go. So we get another um, attack buff, and we only, it only takes two hits to take him down after that. And uh, so he brings in the Skarmory, and this time I do power up punch straight out the gate to get the attack buff, and I'm hoping that I can get to another ice punch before, but I was not sure if I was going to, which I would have, so I did another power up punch, and that turns out just to, to finish him off. And we're able to get one more power up punch off on the Whiskash, and just look, Medicham just took out one, two, two and three quarters of a Pokemon, of a, or of a team. Two and three quarters Pokemon, yes. Well, almost a full team. Yeah, Medicham just went absolutely bananas. We don't have anything too great to bring in on the Whiskash. Um, so we just bring out our guy, the past Don, because we just wanted to use him. And yeah, we get to finish him off right over there. And now we're going to be fighting against my guy, my guy Vinny. And so... Oh no, Dozer. I got Dozer. Sorry, sorry, Dozer. Your, your avatars look kind of similar, so I'm really proud of myself here because I looked at his team of six and I was like, man, I feel I'm leading with that with that Caesar. I feel like it's gonna happen, and if he does, that's gonna be like my only chance to use Bastion on like effectively this whole series. So I perfectly predict the lead. Um, I come in with SmackDown, which is super. Um, I think it's gonna be super effective. At the very least, it's no, it's neutral. It's gonna be neutral damage, and then he's not ready for the flamethrower, not expecting it. So so he does not shield and it's going to go ahead and wipe him. So it's a great way to start that first match. I'm not saying go lead with Bastia on it, but I'm saying for that situation, since I predicted it accurately and he didn't know the flamethrower was coming, it worked out really well. Anyways, we're meta chamming, actioning. I'm power up punching his meta cham. And yeah, not very effective, but you can see we're doing some work here. Yeah, we're using our shields, but we're about to have his meta cham down and we're going to have a beefed up meta cham going into the last Pokemon. So he's gonna have two shields, but we are gonna do some work with our charge moves. And we're kind of hoping right here that he will want to save one shield for not Metacham. And he does not do that. So that's why I went with the Ice Punch there, thinking maybe he'll think that he'll tank the Dynamic Punch better than he'll tank the next Pokemon's charge moves. So that's why I waited for the uh, Ice Punch and didn't use the, the Pupper that last time and throw a Pupper at him. Um, anyways, we finish off with the Flygon. So he throws out Melmetal. This is not where we want to be. Skarmory. Um, Melmetal was the Skarmory wall of the Boulder Cup, the way that Steelix is in the Tempest Cup. So we don't want to see that Melmetal at all. We bring in our guy Metacham. Gonna get off a pupper. We throw a power up punch at him. We're over there jabbing our way. Our attack's rising. We're on the rise. And then the Whiskash comes in. We say, let's get another pupper off over here. So we got our we got our mitts up. We're blocking or or <laughs> the uh, dozer's blocking. He's got his shields up. He's gonna throw a mud bomb off. We try to dodge that, but we don't. So we're over here. Oh, and he's got another, he's got another charge. Oh, so we're gonna go ahead and block that. And we're gonna go and throw a shield. And we're gonna go and ice punch and try to wipe him. And oh, does he shield? No, he does not shield, but it's not gonna go wipe him as it's only a neutral damage. But we do go ahead and get the whisk hash down. So now the Skarmory comes in. We're curious if he's gonna shield her, so we go for the ice punch, hoping he decides to save his shield for the next Pokemon coming in. So again, Metacham doing some decent work in this match once we switched over to it. With, that, with those puppers, man, the power punch is so freaking awesome. I love it. I just love the idea of it, you know? It's like, I don't love you. I love the idea of you. So if you're like, Matt, power punch is overrated. I'm like, yo, bro, I love the idea of it. I love the idea of what what these type of moves mean for PvP going forward, the ominous wins, the silver wins, and all that stuff. Um, anyways, so we get him right here. He's expecting a pupper, but we throw out an ice punch. 
so he does not, he doesn't get a pup for throwing his way. We throw a pff, icy punch at him, and so we're gonna get a power up punch this time. It's not gonna be very effective, but our attack is rising, and we're gonna go ahead and shield again. And you know, we're, we are throwing a lot of resources into keeping our meta champs alive, and I can't remember from the Boulder Cup how much a dynamic punch hurts a meta champ, so I go ahead and shield there, and went for the, the ice punch. I can't remember if that's one of the, there was like once or twice, I think in all the six games between Andy and Dozer where I didn't get the three rings. And one of them I didn't get like but one ring or zero rings or something. But anyways, that happens like, it's gonna happen when you PvP a lot. <laughs> it does get kind of turn. Anyways, Mel Metal versus Metacham, and we're looking pretty good there since it was like the icy punch. We go ahead and shield anyways because we're not gonna get dynamic punched. And now we're gonna go ahead and Thunderbolt here. I probably should have went with the rock move, but I wasn't quite sure how it would work out and decided to go with the Thunder. All right, so Pastia Dawn versus Whiskash, and we do not have enough gas in the tank left to finish this guy off. He's got a shield left, we do not. He's got faster energy gain and lower energy charge moves. So GG, Whiskash finishing off our Pastia Dawn. He said, get out of here. Yeah, Metacham just does some really good work. I know there's gonna be other Pokemon that do work as well with this move. Probably like Lucario and some other things, but Metacham was one of those Boulder Cup MVPs and just awesome to see it just get even better. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna keep learning with me, because I'm learning too, your Pokemon Go Professor Matty F, baby. If you wanna keep learning with me, keep teaching me, keep learning with me and from me, yeah. And stick around by subscribe and share with your friends and all those jazzy goodnesses and hope y'all enjoyed and hope I see you soon and have a good night. You were so appreciated and y'all are absolute animals. Oh my god. <laughs>